So to celebrate the premiere of Game of Thrones Season 7, I wanted to just make a video on a upcoming ambitious and honestly extremely large mod for Skyrim Special Edition. That's going to be called the Game of Thrones Adaptation Mod. More or less, what this is going to do is aim to add in almost all of Westeros into Skyrim. Or I guess a more accurate description would be to transform Skyrim into Westeros, including locations, NPCs, weapons, armors. This is a very complete and expansive mod. It's been in development for a few years now. What you're seeing right now in the background is going to be the trailer. If you've never seen upcoming mods before, basically everything I do show you will be linked down below, the trailer included. And if you want to see more, I definitely would recommend clicking on those links. I don't have nearly enough time to cover every detail and aspect about this mod. So first, let's go over some of the details and probably just common questions you will have about this mod. Is there a release date? No, not yet. He didn't really have a set release date, although he definitely has been making progress. The last update was earlier in July, so it is by no means a dead mod and it's something that I would be very excited for. He did very recently port it over over to Skyrim Special Edition, so it seems like it's going to be released for that version of the game rather than Oldrim. In addition, he does say that if it's possible to be ported over to Xbox One, he will do it, whether that means having the full mod ported over or even a dumbed down version if there's some restrictions with the console variant. Regardless though, it does seem like it is going to be coming to Xbox One in some form, which is very exciting. To be clear though, it doesn't seem like this is actually going to be a replacer of Skyrim. This is going to be more like the very recently released Bruma, where there's actually going to be a new location for you to travel to and you will still Still have the whole vanilla game of Skyrim playable, then you can travel over to Westeros and play that aspect of the game as well. He does mention he does plan to make a bunch of compatibility patches for some very popular mods out there, including alternate starts, so you could actually just start your game in Westeros. He also does mention that he's going to really have a lot of the major characters from the series, including the TV show and the books. In the background, you could even see some of the different characters, locations, and stuff like that. We're going to transition over to some of the images in a moment, and then you'll really get to see some of the different characters in action, some of them in combat, other ones just kind of walking around doing kingly stuff. As I did mention in the beginning, there are a ton of images here. It's covering a lot of different areas from Dorne to the north. One aspect of this mod that gets me really excited is he does mention that you're going to have certain quests or basically just decisions to make and that's going to impact the outcome of the world. So it seems like it won't necessarily follow the same story that the books or TV show does follow, but actually it's going to be more based around what kind of actions you do take as a player. That gets me really excited. That's what makes Skyrim so much fun is having actions and consequences and having the world of Westeros taking place in the same setting and having those same actions have consequences is really exciting to me. I feel like this is one of the best ways to experience this game and it seems like this mod author has made so much progress on this already. Even just looking at some of these images, you could see the models for so many of these different characters, the faces, hair, and all that looking so good. In addition, even some of the armors that some of the characters are wearing are totally custom and just look awesome. They really look extremely accurate based off watching the TV show, obviously, as the book doesn't have too many pictures in it, but it still seems like this is going to be a very ambitious project, but already so much has been done. I imagine once this comes out, you'll be able to choose a side, align with your favorite faction, and trying to progress them to actually become a king or queen of the Seven Kingdoms. The main point of this video was really just to give more attention to this mod, showcase some of the details, and really just how much work has been done already, so you can get excited for it. Again, I have everything linked down below, including a Patreon and his YouTube channel. I definitely recommend checking those out. The main mod page right now is on ModDB. I know a lot of you guys like Nexus, but mod DB is still a great website. Again, I would definitely help get this some attention, maybe offer to help contribute if you want to see it done faster, but all around definitely a very promising mod and something that I think needs a bit more attention.